Hey guys, gals. In uh, this series of videos, I'm going to try to put together some common sense reasoning to testing and repairing and troubleshooting the air ride system on a Lincoln Mark 8. After almost 20 years, my 98 gave me that horrible error. You know, air ride. Check the air ride system. And uh, you really can't do it without the right tools. Uh, you can you can try and you might get lucky or you might not if it's a simple valve failure and, or bag failure that's easy but then you've got the issue that you actually had to set the trim on the on the car you have to tell the computer where it is sitting and um, we'll cover the trim settings in a different video but for this one we're going to go through and we're going to do the auto test now the biggest problem I had was getting the right tool Right off the bat, I went out and bought me a NGS Star Tester. Cost me quite a bit on eBay. I think I did okay. And then I had to purchase the software for it. I ended up with three different cards that I bought. I bought. The green card, the red card, and the black card. None of these have the functional test for the Lincoln. They're good for this make and model, but they don't have it on it. This green card and this black card, they're identical. They have the same software on them. So what do you do, right? So I call Hickok. I say, I mean, I don't get it. Everybody on the, on the forum tells me it should be on the green card. So I buy a green card. It's not on a green card. And they say, yeah, well, you know, uh, Ford pulled them off. The functional tests are no longer on these cards. Now, if you're lucky and you get an old version of it, and I actually saw an old version that might have it, but it's like 230 bucks. So do I want to go buy another one on the chance that it may work? And what Hickok had to say was, don't do it. Use a Superstar Tester 2. So I got lucky, found a pretty good, decent shape one on eBay picked it right up and it does fantastic for the air ride system now there may be other things this does but I don't know I'm only using it for checking the air ride because that's all I care about right now to set this up it's going to be in fast mode before before I start my testing the the test hold button will always be in the up position speaker will be on uh, it will be in the ECC four mode not the MECS I don't know what MECS even means so anyway that is the configuration of the tester when I go to test the auto test is in the Lincoln service manual in volume number one it's located on 204-507 auto test and if you follow it word for word you'll fail in the middle of the test on step nine it has you when you get code 12 which means it passed the first it wants you to open the driver door it wants you to turn the, the steering wheel a quarter of a turn close the driver door and then come over to the other side and open the passenger door what it doesn't tell you is once you've done that that's going to be down it's going to be in test mode once you finish doing that you bring it back up and it doesn't tell you to do that and then you push it back down and either it will tell you you passed which with a code 11 or it will tell you what your faults are and what it found during the testing that's a pretty big oh oops in the Ford manual I got lucky and found a different test this was actually for a out of the 95 mark 8 uh, that I found on the internet it, it did include it in the description for this video I will copy and paste this test sequence in there if you do have an error they are all here in the manuals 10 means it's running the test 11 means it passed 99 tells me that my it's unable to detect raising or lowering of one or more of the corners uh, 90 the left-hand rear air spring solenoid has a circuit failure. 
So the left hand rear uh, solenoid valve isn't working. So anyway, everything is here. Um, I'll see if I can copy these tables in there too. They might not be beautiful, but they might be good enough. Okay, let's go do an auto test. First step is gonna be, of course, opening up the car and hooking up a battery charger to it because I'm gonna be running the compressor. I'm gonna be having the key on. And I don't wanna run it down. Okay, I already know that the switch in the trunk is on. So power's on, both doors are shut. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna have this in the up position, turn the power on. And I'm gonna push it down. And then we're gonna, it's gonna say 10, which means the test is running. Now there is an issue here in the manual. It, it skips a step here that you have to do. If you don't, then it won't work right. So in the uh, description for this video, I'll cut and paste the correct procedure. Just one step that's missing there. And I'll point it out when we get to it. Okay, there's 10. It's testing. Start hearing a lot of bangs and the compressor will kick on. I've got my battery charger over here on. So I don't run her down. And it's going to continue to say 10. When it gets to 12, then we have to go open the doors. Ignore my rattling compressor. It's bad. It's, it's a new bad one that's going to get changed next week. And it'll run for a while. It takes a little bit of time. And I'm not going to shorten the video. We're just going to let it go. It's lowering the front now. And that's what it will do. It'll go through and raise, lower, raise, lower. If I go to the manual, it's going to tell me that an NGS tester software for 95 mark can be used. But it's also, in this entire test, it's using the NGS Star Tester, not the Superstar 2. This is, to me, the best device to use for testing the air right. Looking for a 12. That was the uh, left hand airbag. Okay, 12. Now what we need to do is we need to go open the driver's door. And then we need to turn the steering wheel a quarter of a turn. Which is a better when she's on her own feet. But that's probably at least a quarter. And then we shut the driver door. Come around to the passenger door. Open it up. Close it. And what the manual does not tell us to do, 
Right now, we should unlatch the test button. Okay, raise it up. Okay, now I'm going to re relatch it. And if I get an 11, we're good to go. There you go. It passed. If it didn't pass, then it would give me whatever code the failed might be. And let's continue it over here. So that is how you do the auto test. Okay, well, that's it. You know, not much to it. It's actually pretty darn simple. Once you get the right, right equipment and you know what the test sequence is. Uh, I know it certainly helped me. Um, I hope it helps you. And uh, keep those Mark 8s going, right? I love mine. Uh, it's got 136,000 miles on it. So I know I'll be driving it for the next five years. And I'm not ready to give up on the air ride yet. I like the air suspension system. Take care. Talk to you later.